Hi everyone, so if you're in Color Guard and you want to spin rifle and are curious about the new Ultra Spin by Band Shop, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to unbox the rifle, show you the ins and outs of the product, and give you my review on how it spins. But before I do that, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you can catch the next product unboxing and review. I'll be doing more of them so you don't want to miss out. Let's go! The Ultra Spin is the new and exclusive rifle only found from Band Shop. The price is currently at $37, $39, and $40.95. The company says it's made from high quality USA Midwest poplar wood and is kiln dried for lightweight and strength. It comes in three sizes, 36, 37, and 39 inches in length. You get a choice of a gold, silver, or black bolt, a black or white strap, and just like all all wood rifles, recommends that you tape it with reinforcement tape. So here we go. I got this delivered. Um, thank you so much, Band Shop, for providing this. Uh, the link in the description below for you to purchase your own. So um, let's open this up. Okay, they basically gave you all the things that you need to um, do with the rifle. And what's cool about this is that the screw holes are already there. Okay, so right here and right here. Now, traditionally, when you order a rifle, they, um, they usually have this stuff sometimes already on it. But I think this is very useful because you're gonna have to tape this rifle anyways yourself. So if it's, instead of like, you know, having to undo everything, cause you're gonna undo it anyways, this is already, you know, ready to go to tape. So I'm gonna have to tape this first before I even use it. Um, I really do like that it's individually wrapped. Um, it just lets, you know, everything is in its own place and I can make sure, okay, I have the bottom, um, the butt pad and then the nose pad. I have the bolt, I have the screws for it. I have the screws for the strap and the swivels. So that's kind of useful. I already know that everything is here and it comes in the box already. So I'm going to um, tape up my rifle kind of like regular taping wise or whatever I was taught and, and then I'll give it a spin. Just, but just coming out of the box already, like the, I can tell that this, this is a nice lightweight rifle because sometimes when you get a rifle you know, wood from a tree is all different. It's sometimes really heavy, but this one feels kind of light. So I'm actually kind of liking it. This strap is a band shop strap and it's pretty thick. So it looks like it could withhold um, a lot of use after a long time. All these screws and swivels look pretty good. And so I chose a black bolt um, and a black strap. And this black bolt is painted and it comes with black screws so it fits in very nicely. It, it, it's color coordinated. These pads are like, oh, a good thickness. They fit well, perfectly fleshed with the rifle. So that's, that's pretty nice. And I will say as you're putting on the butts, um, it's a sticker. So it um, just sticks on right, right, right easy. Just like that. Nice. As I'm fastening the strap, you can see that the little clips right here, um, they look almost the same as other clips for other rifles, but I think that they might be a little bit more sturdier, but just because of the type of metal that they are, um, they're not aluminum, so this is pretty good. Um, as I'm doing the bolt, you actually have to screw in the screw into the bolt, which is actually pretty nice because that might make it stay on the rifle better. Right here's the completed rifle, and let's see how it spins. Starting right away with regular technique. Nothing out of the ordinary, works just fine. Doing little flips and tricks here and there, using different parts of the rifle as I spin this gun. It's super easy to maneuver because of how light it is. It's easy to get, you know, 
all parts of the rifle. Strap might be a little bit stiff, so that's to come for any type of new rifle that you get. Around the neck, nothing different at all. It does feel a little bit different in your hand because of the type of wood it is. Um, the grain you can tell is just a little bit different. Um, but overall, like I couldn't tell the difference between this rifle and any other rifle besides um, the weight and how thin it is. And yeah, it's pretty good. Even with regular tosses, it seems to be doing fine as well. Okay, so overall, this is a pretty good rifle. The biggest pros seem to be that it's very lightweight. Like this thing is so easy to spin. Um, also that um, it's kind of thin, it's kind of skinny. Like I can, I can wrap my hand around the neck and the nose really, really well. Um, so that's, that's a really big plus. Cause sometimes rifles can get really bulky. The only con that I have is that it's not quite 37 and a half inches long. When I measured it, it came out to 37 inches. So I don't know if that's um, because they maybe sent me the wrong one or, you know, um, maybe a little bit on the short side, but I couldn't really tell by looking at it. I would probably get myself a 39 because I'm six foot, but if you're shorter, a shorter rifle is probably more well suited for you, so it'd be fine. But I like this rifle, it's very nice. I think they did a really good job designing it. That it seems to be a good quality material. The strap is thick and the bolt is really sturdy. So this might, rifle might be good for you if you are learning how to do rifle and you want something a little bit lighter, um, but it's still like a full rifle. So um, you can do any tricks or, you know, spins or choreography that you would find with any other rifle. So this is just a new one on the market. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see the other times that I post videos for product reviews. I'll be doing more of these. And while you're at it, go ahead and comment in the comment section below and tell me what other products you'd like me to review. Thanks so much.